welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Starts off with a bang right here. Game one. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. D.A. will join us tonight on the sideline. D.A., it's all yours. Well, Kevin, even though starters are important, those great six men have been the key to so many championship teams. Think about the likes of Andre Iguodala, Manu Ginobili, Lamar Odom. And still, with some, there's a stigma to coming off the bench. Iguodala said it's ingrained early. But in particular, he said, in the NBA, it's I need to get paid like a starter. And guys, that's a sacrifice that not many are willing to line up for. David Aldridge, thank you. Now let's take a look at the starters for New Orleans. Ingram the three and Zion the four. Bledsoe is out there with Lonzo Ball. And it's Adams in at the five. And for the Suns, Booker and Bridges are the wings. Jake Crowder out there with Aiton. And it's Paul in at the point guard. So the Pelicans win the tip. Ball, the pass to Williamson. And here is Ingram. And oh! Hey guys, really easy to see why Ingram was the second pick in the 2016 draft with plays like these. Now here's Aiton. Back to Bridges. Adams, a nice D. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Major props given up to Ingram for aggressively attacking the rim. Not many guys want to get in this path when he goes like that. Here's Booker. Now the pass to Aiton. It's over Ingram, and it's Aiton missing. Ingram outside. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Ingram's got six. God, I like seeing Ingram get going down underneath the rim. Just another dimension of his game that he continues to develop. For three, Booker, and again, it's the Suns missing. And the wide-open shot from Bledsoe controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. Offensive rebound. Here's Aiton, stolen by Ball. To the paint, here's Williamson. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Ingram against Bridges. Kicks to Booker. Just five to shoot. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Suns trail by eight. And up the court come the Suns on the break. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Ball passes to Aiton. Shoots over Ingram. And it's Aiton missing. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. Ball I'm with the I'm bucket. Out. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint.
Suns trail by 10. Passes it to Book. Count that one. You know, this is why they trust Paul to run the offense. I mean, he's so good at getting the ball to guys on time and on target. Bloodsoe outside. Pass to Williamson. Shoots over Crowder. And it's Williamson missing. Look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there. Even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Here's New Orleans. They've outscored him 10 points to 2 during this run. The shot will not fall. Some solid defense from Aiton. Here's Bridges. Pelicans pull it in. Adams has got rebound number five here tonight. To the middle. 11 feet away. And that one goes long. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the fourth. Booker with it. Now guarded by Ingram. Booker the pass to Aiton. He kicks it to Bridges. And no good. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. Ingram wide open. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. Williamson's got three assists in the game. Pass to Booker. Tries it from 19. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Ball with a wide open look. And it's Adams on the follow. Adams has got his second basket of the game. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Hayton. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Sweet find there by Booker. All eyes on him with the ball. And Devin understands that. That has a nice feel for giving up the rock. Now here's Ingram. He's got nine. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard. And they are landing some haymakers now. Hard. He's checked in for Eric Hudson. And that one falls for Ingram. And really, guys, I can't put a ceiling on Ingram. His length, time out, time out. his shooting stroke, and work ethic. Oh, this is a guy who I think has the potential to be truly great. Timeout call, the Suns. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Dishes to Bridges. Near the three-point line, it's Booker. Offline from the top of the key. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin. Particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Now, here's Bridges. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Offensive rebound. Williamson, the pass the ball. Basket counts. Ball's got his second basket of the night. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. Booker, the pass to Aiton. Kicks it out to Booker. Pocket six. Ball for three. And it's Williamson with the rebound. Williamson's got rebound number five here tonight. And the dunk by Williamson really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. And, you know, that involves pounding it inside. 
getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. Now here's Paul. He's just scored his first basket with that shot, making him one for four. You know, Chris Paul will get his points any way he can. I mean, that's his aggressive nature. CP3, if it means handling contact, he's ready for it. Williamson in the post. He's against Crowder. Yeah, I tell you what, for him, this has been a game to forget. But somehow they still find themselves with the lead. Walker finds Bridges. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Shot by Crowder, no good. Pelicans leading by 16. Here's Williamson. Bridges with the board. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Here's Williamson. Nails the baby hook. Williamson's got his second bucket of the game to go. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. If a floater, they get it again. Ayton and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And you just have to be enticed by the skill set of Ayton. A seven-foot-one behemoth who plays with a lot of physicality and skill on both ends. The first free throw is good. So for the Suns, Mike Kaminsky, he's checked in for Jay Crowder. Torrey Craig comes in for Mikel Bridges. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Chris Paul. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the New Orleans Pelicans. They lead by 17 inside and the bucket is good three-point play chance here for him they're getting on a roll inside their last three field goals have come from the paint and a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the pelicans it looks like they're ready to run fellas i mean they haven't hesitated at all to get out on the break so far yeah also though they've done a good job of pounding the offensive glass for second chance points. and that one falls for ingram Phoenix has gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. The pass to Book. Kicks it to Sharnich. Ball's not loose and taken away by Johnson. Ingram against Sharnich. Here's Hayes. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Booker left side. The dish to Kaminsky. And there's the foul. It'll go on Josh Hart. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Charge passes to Payne. And here's Booker from the arc. You know, they're losing in large part because he's, he's not playing well. It's really as simple as that. So hard, actually impossible to cut into the lead when you have a guy struggling this bad. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. No good from Booker. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Kaminsky kicks to Craig. Here's Sharich. No good again that time. New Orleans has gone a meager 1-6 from three-point land since we got started tonight. 119 left here in the first quarter. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. I like the way Dario Sharic plays so hard down low when he gets inside. Really good at drawing fouls because he's physical and aggressive. First trip to the line for him here. Shooting two.
And that one falls from Sharich. You know, the toughness Sharich possesses is really pretty impressive. A guy who lost six teeth in a game one time and kept on playing. Wow. Sharich nails them both. New Orleans dictating the flow. Alexander Walker passes to Ingram. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Hey, when Ingram is in attack mode, it forces the defense's hand. Literally. Good job drawing the foul. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And that one misses. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Johnson. And he's good on the second. On offense, here are the Suns. 46 seconds left here in the opening quarter. New Orleans has gone a meager 1 of 6 from three-point land since we got started tonight. And Hayes throws it down. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. Yeah, you said the key word there, balanced. I mean, their big lead owes as much to their defense as their offense. Now here's Payne. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. No good from Booker. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. Yeah, second chance points, a huge issue right now. They're getting steamrolled inside. Well, guys, nobody's boxing out. I mean, I could go out there and get an offensive rebound. They're just watching. And if you're the coaching staff, that's unacceptable. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. We come back right after this. And if you're wondering whether players watch the standings, check out this clip from Chris Paul. One thing we have to do is stop comparing ourselves to last year. Early in the year, we was doing that every couple games. We was like, man, our record was here. This was that. And teams change. Your games have to change. You know, Greg, he makes a great point. Even when you have mostly the same guys, every season is different. And if you're a coach, it'll give you gray hairs trying to preach that to your players. Many guys don't believe it until they're in it and then have to dig themselves out of a hole. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. And looking at what we've seen, Pelicans pretty much in control here. Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Oh, well, there's no doubt about it, guys. Without those second chance points, this game would have had a much different feel to it. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So for New Orleans right now, they've got Hart. Turning Gomez out there with Hayes. Then there's Bledsoe, and it's Alexander Walker in at the one spot. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. It's good. Second chance points have really been an issue here defensively. And you know, defense isn't done until you finish it off with the rebound. It's like the period at the end of a sentence. That's where they have to improve. Now here's Payne. The shot by Sharch, no good. 
Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. Got a piece of it. Like watching Sharich make his presence felt with blocks like these. Here's Johnson. Pelicans pull it in. Hart's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Pass to Alexander Walker. He dishes it to Bloodsoe. And the layup falls. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. The play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. And here's the fast break. The finish. Flushes it down to finish the break. Way ahead of the field. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. You know, and not leaving anything to chance either. That's why he takes it right to the bucket. Now here's Booker. Gets it to fall, but still just two for ten from the four this game. Not just an outside shooter. Booker is also skilled at getting it done from that area as well. Alexander Walker passes to Bledsoe. Here's Alexander Walker. Misses the wing jet. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Booker in the corner. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Herman Gomez has got six rebounds in the game. Here's Hart, and he dunks it down. You know, Bledsoe has developed his passing skills to the point where you've got to respect that part of his game. He's doing a nice job finding his open guys. Now here's Kaminsky. He feeds it to Sharnich. Banked in off the glass. And it really has been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Here's Alexander Walker. Hernan Gomez passes to Alexander Walker. They get it back and finish off by Hernan Gomez. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Johnson's shot is off. New Orleans has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Hart the pass to Hayes. Here's Alexander Walker. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's his first personal foul. The Pelicans shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Nikhil Alexander Walker. Two shots. the first one and the Suns here with a different look Aiton he's checked in for Sharich Crowder comes in for Kaminsky Bridges he's checked in for Booker and Paul subbed in for Cameron Payne New Orleans also making some changes Zion Williamson's checked in for Hayes and it's Lonzo Ball in for Hart and the second free throw good And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Suns. Shoots over Ball. Paul can't get it to go. And here's New Orleans now. They're on a 13-4 run right now. Alexander Walker. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. Williamson's got his fifth assist in this one. Ball against Paul. Fires from 14. Epic counts. Just dial up automatic when you talk about Chris Paul's mid-range J. All he needs is just enough room. Bledsoe looking it over. Williamson trying to free himself up. It's good. Bledsoe's got six in the quarter. Yep, you know, after a scoreless first period, he's really turned it up a notch. Building some momentum. And Aiton throws it down. And the impressive reach of a lob it up his way, and he'll take care of the rest. Ball, the pass to Williamson. Basket, good. And that's now six points for Zion Williamson. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle. 
their offensive end. And here is Ball following the three from Chris Paul. Feeds to Williamson. And that's out of, out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. Torrey Craig. He's checked in for Johnson. And I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And it's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. More in your face, physical, high energy plays like that one. Trying to get open is Johnson. Phoenix has gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. From deep, shot clock reset for Phoenix. Here's Ayton. Good D by Williamson. Well for New Orleans, shooting about 59% from the floor offensively. They've been running without a hitch. That shot off. Some solid defense from Ayton. Here's Bridges. Trying to get open is Crowder. Some solid defense from Ingram. Here's Williamson. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one on Ayton. This is the challenge Williamson possesses to many defenders. Hard to guard him without fouling. No good on that one. And we first heard about Williamson in high school, and that was due to his dunking ability. Now he's a full-fledged star on the rise. Good on the second free throw. Here's Paul. He's got seven. Over ball. And the Suns miss again. Yeah, you know, guys, this has been far from his best game. A disappointing outing for both him and the team. The Pelicans have made five of eight of their free throw attempts. Eric Bledsoe at the line for two. Two shots. Relax on the first. The free throw drops for Eric Bledsoe. You know, an athletic and strong player at his position is Bledsoe, and he's a confident guy who I think makes an impact at both ends of the floor. Bledsoe hits them both. Paul with the ball. Oh, Aiton in position. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. And these shots you want Aiton taking. He's just so smart on offense. And there's Williamson on the assist from Ingram. Ingram's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Johnson against Crowder. Now here's Paul. T right on him. And the shot goes in. Paul's got nine. And we know Paul's not the biggest guy in the league. Far from it. But that does not stop him from finding ways to score inside. Now here's Ingram. 16 points for him. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Aiton. Here's Williamson, out to Ingram, five on the clock. Shoots over Bridges, will not go. This is off the front iron. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the fouls. It goes on Eric Bledsoe. For Phoenix, they have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. At the line for two. Shooting two. Two 
And that one falls for Bridges. New Orleans making a switch here. Adams checked in. Both good from the line that time. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for New Orleans. Both loose. Ball with the steal. Bridges dishes to Crowder. Pass to Paul. Over Bledsoe. Phoenix no good that time either. New Orleans has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Let's a floater go. And Ball with the lay-in. Ball's got his third basket of the night. And, and Ball has so much confidence on this floater in addition to a nice touch with it. So that makes it really hard to deal with. Now here's Crowder. No points in the game yet for him. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's his first trip to the line. At the line for your serves, Jay Crowder. Two shots. Shooting two. And the first one drops. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. And the Pelicans making a change here. A one deuce checked in. Good on both. We are having a lot of success from the line here in the second quarter. Ball, the pass to Adams. Ingram against Bridges. Well, Phoenix shooting 27%. The offense is just embarrassing themselves. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That is his first foul of the game. Langston Galloway's checked in for Phoenix. Substitution for the Suns. Langston Galloway. We've got 148 left in the first half of basketball. That's tipped. Ball size and timing really an asset when it comes to him blocking shots. Play, 144 left in the first half of the game. Clock is at three. And too much time in the lane, they get called for the three-second violation. And just a little too lax with that possession, and it cost them. And I tell you what, more brain-neutral plays like that one, and they'll have a hole deeper than the one they're already in. Now, here's Ball. He has six. Not three off the mark. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. What a sweet assist by CP3. The Suns have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. Hard, he's checked in for New Orleans. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. Here's Ball. We've got 113 left here in the second. Ingram outside. Back to Williamson. And the dunk by Williamson. Yeah, you know, you look at Ingram, and it's not all about scoring with him. He shows he shares the ball as well. And stolen by Williamson. Knocked away. Ball with the steal. And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. Some changes for Phoenix. Kaminsky comes in for Mikel Bridges. And it's Booker in for Langston Galloway. Phoenix has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Pass to Paul. Let's it go with the three. Pelicans with the rebound. Williamson's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. 
26 seconds left now here in the second. And that one's drained from the low block. Williamson's got 13 points. You know, he started slow, but now in the second quarter, he's finding his groove. Booker looking around. The pass to Kaminsky. Shoots over Ingram. The shot is good off the backboard. Kaminsky's got his second bucket tonight. I like the way Kaminsky takes advantage of using the angles now. He plays smart inside. And so it's New Orleans leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. James, you came out and you were really productive. In fact, the whole bench was productive. Yeah, of course. You know, that's what that's what the second unit is for. We, we go hard in practice. Um, we know we can play with the best of them. And we just want to give our first guys uh, the first group of lift. You certainly did, James. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And hello again. What a showing tonight. A sold-out building is where the action is happening. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Well, for the Pelicans, boy, have they ever started this series off on the right foot. They've thrown down the gauntlet here in Game 1 with their intensity and effectiveness on both ends of the floor. Now, they've got a little bit of an intimidation factor going into the second half. And uh, Kenny... What did you see out there from the Pelicans? They looked like they were playing an easy game of pitch and catch out there. The playmakers and finishers were in sync on every level. The assist disparity, now that was big. Now that's the reason why it's a blowout right now, and they played well. And Shaq, what did you think about Phoenix? Well, they're obviously facing a hot shooting team tonight. That combined with a lackluster effort on defense, recipe for disaster. Without major improvements defensively, this game is O G A over. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, fuck. Basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Brandon Ingram has been sensational. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Booker and Bridges are the wings. Jay Crowder out there with Aiton. And it's Paul in at the point. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. Offensive rebound. Right on the bucket. Aiton's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Suns. A towering presence on the offensive glass. Aiton uses his height well to keep possessions alive. Williamson kicks to Ingram. Ingram drawing the double team. Five to shoot. Shots good by Bledsoe. This is a positive sign for sure. I mean, when Bledsoe's hitting this, I think it ignites the entire squad. Back to Paul. Looking to get it going. The shot that time, not on target. Excellent D there from Ball. Rejected by Booker. Over in the corner, Paul target with his three that's one for their first four to start the second half and it's Williamson missing the defense ready to form on that possession they had to be because he is so strong in the paint bridges against Williamson goes up the baseline and the Suns miss again clearly out of rhythm now guys I mean just one for five to begin the second half oh the jam by Ingram and at six foot nine with that wingspan of his, Ingram is constantly prowling for these dunks. He's an incredible athlete who finishes with ease near the hoop. Now here's Booker. 
shoots. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Booker's got six. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end, always in attack mode. Back to ball. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. Uh, assists like assist that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. For Phoenix, they have shot the ball well from the free throw line. Eight of nine. And the Suns making a change here. Charge has checked in. And that one falls for Paul. And, you know, it seems like Paul is ageless. I mean, still sharp, still quick and fast, and one of the most active players on the floor at all times. Now, here's Ball. Eight points for him. Adams finds Ball. Kept alive. Hey. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on charge. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Jackson Hayes. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Payne, he's checked in for Paul. Hayes hits them both. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Booker outside. Pushing it up. Here's Alexander Walker. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and the other team in scramble mode. Crowder, the pass to Sharich, and the basket is good. Sharich has got six. Sharich is deceptively strong. This guy's got good strength, and he doesn't mind being physical. Can absorb the contact and find a way to finish. Here's Alexander Walker. He's got eight. Here's Adams, and Adams with the slam. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. Got to work harder on the glass. Now here's Payne. Booker with no one around. No good on the triple. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Passes it to Hayes. Right wing. Outside, ball. Down to five on the shot clock. Trains the three-pointer. Yeah, you know, it's a quirky release. There's no denying that. But he's a reliable shooter and scorer from the perimeter. Lonzo Ball making it happen. Now here's Crowder. Booker outside. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Ball. And now Ball pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And let's get your take, guys, and the hustle stats for the Pelicans. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. Another part of their game that's made a difference tonight is all the second-chance points they've been able to get. Johnson, he's checked in for Bridges. Johnson, he's Find checked in for Find New Orleans. One shot. You know, you look at Ball's size and speed and confidence, very impressive. An exciting prospect who I think has an all-star future. Now here's Booker. Six points for him. And here is Ball. Puts up a three, but they'll get another chance. There's another opportunity, and everything's going right for these guys. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Booker in the post. The kick out to Crowder. And the Suns miss again. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing 
on their faces. Nothing going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. Here's Payne following the basket by Lonzo Ball. Payne passes to Sharch. Over Hayes. The shot by Sharch. No good. New Orleans has gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Now the feed to Johnson. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. The Pelicans have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. The Suns making a switch here. Kaminsky's checked in, and then for New Orleans, Hernan Gomez comes in for Jackson Hayes. One shot. And Hart subbed in for Lonzo Ball. That's good from Johnson. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half, and that's taking care of business, fellas. It's blocked, and so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And bringing that postseason intensity so key, these plays can change the trajectory of a game. And so here's Phoenix. For Phoenix, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Cameron Payne at the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. Payne hits them both. New Orleans has gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. To the inside, Ingram, and he makes good on the layup. And that's now 20 points for Brandon Ingram. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Good! Against Booker, a little contact usually doesn't go a long way. Strong body control there. Pass to Johnson. Ingram with it. Makes it off the glass. Ingram's got six in the quarter. Well, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. Sharks right side. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one's on Johnson. So clever at drawing contact. Frank Kaminsky's size creates a lot of problems for defenders. This is his first free throw of the game. The free throw drops for Kaminsky. Frank Kaminsky was picked ninth overall back in the 2015 draft, and he's really established himself in a few years as a quality role player who can stretch the floor. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for Phoenix. And he makes both free throws. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency, because you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. Here's Alexander Walker. He's got 10. He kicks it out to Johnson. Ron Gomez trying to break free. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. Ernie Gomez has got his third bucket of the night. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Well, you know, that's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. 
That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stump. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Shot clock at six. Payne kicks to Craig. And here's Booker from the arc. Sinks the three-pointer. Booker's got 11. Encouraging signs for him after starting the game poorly. He's picked it up here in the second half. Uses the glass to finish the layup. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Booker outside. And a miss there on the triple. And Ingram has got the ball here for New Orleans. And then Johnson with the dunk. Boy, Hart is one of those guys you look at and you can just see the team is first with him. Never hesitates to find the open guy. On the wing, Booker. A floater. He takes it up and lays it in. Booker's got nine points now in the quarter. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. And he slams it one-handed. And really the story of this second half, one team getting the shots they want, the other not so much. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. Payne's shot is good. Look at the space he had on that one, though. There's an obvious speed mismatch between the two. To the paint, here's Ingram, and slam dunk by Ingram. And with Ingram, he can score from anywhere. I mean, his jump shot is money, and his drives to the hoop, Lethal. For three, Booker nailed from three-point land. Booker's got 12 points here in the second half. Alexander Walker passes to Hernan Gomez. Down low. That's in there, Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got three assists now in this one. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. Now here's Booker. 16 points for him. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. James Johnson. Such an active shooter. Love how Booker gets defenders to try and be physical with him. Shooting He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Two shots. Free throw, good Booker. An accurate shooter from all areas of the floor. Booker has the confidence needed to dominate on offense. DeAndre Ayton's checked in for Phoenix. Paul comes in for Payne. Both free throws good from Booker. New Orleans has gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Williamson in the post. He's guarded by Kaminsky. And that one's good, Williamson. That, that's just all Zion. You know, once he gets that close, he's zoned in on capitalizing no matter what. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. Bridges, he's checked in for the Suns. Langston Galloway comes in for Devin Booker. And the Pelicans also making a change. Adams checked in. And that one falls for Paul. The Pelicans shooting extremely well. 62% on the night to this point. Pass to Adams. And the rejection by Aiton. And, and using that wide reach to reject shots. Aiton can't afford to throw up weak stuff around the big fella. Here's Williamson. And he slams it right down on top of Frank Kaminsky. Well, what a dunk artist this guy is. Whenever Williamson takes flight, you're just expecting to see something special. Just three on the clock, and Adams sends it back. Brandon Ingram, he's been the guy making things happen for New Orleans. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we'll be right back after this. 
And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this was? Yeah, and as a two-guard, he's typically not a reluctant shooter. So it was really nice to see him orchestrating for a teammate instead. Show up. NBA playoffs round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. On the court for the Pelicans. Getting the fourth quarter going. We've got Williamson. He's out there with Steven Adams. And it's a one-do in at the two. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. One shot. And free throw good from Williamson. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for the Suns. Stripped away. And New Orleans pushing it up now. Good work there as it goes. Every team looking to get easy ones in transition. I think one of the best ways, guys, to score in transition is that quick hitter after the first burst. Now here's Aiton. It's stolen by Adams. To the middle. He kicks it to Marshall. Shot clock at five. Here's a one-do. And the rejection by Eaton. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Unloads from nine. It's rebounded by New Orleans. To the inside. And down it goes. Dunk threw off a wonderful assist. And really an underrated playmaker. Williamson with good court vision and solid decision making. Nader, no good, unable to end this run. The Pelicans have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. They grab their own miss, and the dunk by Williamson. And able to pad his stats a little bit there on that play, the board and the bucket. And you know, Greg, that'll put him in the good graces of that coaching <laughs> staff, too. My goodness. Hard work on the offensive glass always does that. I mean, his fans will remember the dunk, but the coaches love the rebound. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. Carter finds Bridges. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Adams against Aiton. And there's the pass to Galloway. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Galloway at the line for two. That free throw good from Galloway. Sharch has checked in for Phoenix. Galloway hits both of them. And here are the Pelicans. They're on an 11-2 run. And that one's good, Williamson. 24 points for Zion Williamson. And what you love about Williamson, he's not just magnetic and entertaining. He's extremely productive. Now here's Sharich. Payton trying to break free. The shot by Sharich, no good. To the paint. That's good from Williamson on the assist from Marshall. Assist. Williamson's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Carter looking around. Stolen away, and here they come. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on charge. Number 13. Taking two shots. 
shooting two. The first one falls, and Phoenix making a change here. Crowder's checked in. Hayes, he's checked in for the Pelicans. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. And play stops. Whistle on what looks That's to great. be an illegal screen. That's his fourth foul. I'm sure he recognizes the situation because number five would put him in a rough, tough spot. Here are the Pelicans with the ball. What a stretch they've got going here. 17-2. And there's the call on Dario Sharp. That will be foul number five on him. Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. Not his best moment. Obviously, no one on their team's happy right now, but you shouldn't be taking that frustration out on your opponent with a poor foul. Now, here's Marshall inside, and Hayes throws it down. You know, with that kind of height mismatch, you've got to send help defensively. Passes to Nader. Right side, Crowder. Kicks it to Galloway. Six on the shot clock. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Boy, he has put in some major work. He's earning his pay, for sure. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their play. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Now here's Crowder. And a fast break now for the Pelicans. Bucket is good. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Carter dishes to charge. To the middle. Deflects the pass. And it's out of bounds. Well, they say last touch by Adams. Johnson, he's checked in for Hayes. Checking in for the Pelicans. James Johnson. to stop the drought and the layup by Sharks. Sharks knows he has the touch needed to capitalize inside. Here's a one-do. Johnson outside. Pass to Marshall. From past the arc, Crowder pulls it in. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. It's stolen by Johnson. the mark there with the three-point shot for Phoenix they've gone just one of six in the field to start the fourth quarter a bit of a slowdown for them right now here's Crowder and it's blocked at the top of the key Marshall that one drops for him Marshall's got his first basket and they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Six to shoot. New Orleans gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Down low. Crowder, and he finishes nicely on the way. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. Defended by Carter. Good work defensively by Carter. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for the Phoenix Suns. It's stolen by Adams. Johnson against Crowder. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Now, I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, neither did the defenders. Now here's Crowder. Pass 
to Galloway. Buries the long-range jumper. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. And Marshall kicks to a one do. Picked away. Here's Galloway. Misses off the right iron. Johnson against Carter. The pass to Marshall. Johnson outside. Five to shoot. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's his first personal foul. At the line for the Pelicans. James Johnson. At the line for two. Shooting two. And that one falls for Johnson. Some changes for Phoenix. Aiton, he's checked in for Sharich. And it's Johnson in for Jay Crowder. And a change for the Pelicans. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Adams. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Phoenix has gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Carter outside and taken away by Johnson and pushing it up here's New Orleans Johnson's got the ball that one no good some solid defense from eight out to Carter to the inside the offensive rebound goes up again and Aiton with the nice bucket inside. Great game for him. Double, double down. 11 points and 16 rebounds. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And that's exactly what they're going for on that shot. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. Second team foul. At the line for your sons, Cameron Johnson. Two shots. That's good from Johnson. And Johnson drops them both. New Orleans has gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. The one do passes to Johnson. Defended by Carter. And he uses the glass on the layup. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand the lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shot, that lead's going to expand. Now here is Carter. Johnson wide open. He fires. That one falls coming off Carter's feet. Kick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You got to be tougher defensively. A tremendous boost for these guys as this game winds down and what will be a win here in game one of the series for the Pelicans. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted.
and a lot of players tonight helped contribute to this performance. But in particular, a real good Take game it was for Brandon Ingram. Two Every shot. time there was a big possession or a big play, he was a major contributor. Just a great all-around game. And he knocks down the first one. And so he hits both. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for the Suns. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Feeds it to Johnson. Hernan Gomez. It's good on the putback. That gives him the double-double. 10 points and 11 rebounds. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. I mean, even from over here, you could see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. And that one falls for Johnson. And Johnson drops them both. 46 seconds left in the fourth. Wandu passes to Johnson. Defended by Carter. Passes it to Hernan Gomez. And the rejection by Eaton. Galloway taking his time here. Pass to Nader. To the paint, trying to find Johnson. He's got it now. Count it. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. And that one falls for Johnson. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's a one-do. So we see the Pelicans taking the W here. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Eric Bledsoe. Eric, a strong performance tonight. What's been the difference? Uh, we're getting out of transition, you know, trying to get defense to stop. And everybody's just playing their game. And it's show tonight, Eric. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.